it's Tara and Gino's in the studio with me. Hi, Gino. How Hi. are you? I'm doing all right. As always, we're going to talk movies and specifically we're going to talk a little bit about the Oscars because, uh, you know, this is something that I feel like uh, people either love them or they hate them. Yeah, well, you know, I wouldn't call myself a hater of the Oscars, but I, honestly, I don't put a lot of stock in them anymore. And it's because, first and foremost, not every movie gets a chance. It feels like... Only special movies are, are picked, and especially comedies get drowned mm-hmm. out a lot. And there's been a lot of great uh, dramedies and or comedies that get passed up because, well, they're a comedy and the Oscars don't look at them. And I don't like that. Every movie should get a chance. That's why when I do my awards for the year, even though it's only my opinion, every movie I look at during the year gets a shot yeah that's why i think i have a lot of unorthodox picks yeah absolutely i would agree with that uh for sure because i think the average person who goes to the movies likes a good laugh once in a while oh yeah you have to go to you have to go to the movies and laugh every now and then because if all you watch was depressing stuff (laughs) it gets to you real quick it really does what are some other reasons you're you're not a big fan the big one is that it's very political and what i mean by that is it feels like they feel like they're trying to make everybody happy. Mm -hmm. If someone complains, like the big thing a couple years ago was the Oscar so white thing. Yes, yes. And that being said, this year I'm predicting that Moonlight will win because the Oscar, the Oscar people will feel well we got to make up for that that being said i thought moonlight was a better movie than la la land okay but if la la land wins you never know what's going to be said yeah yeah and that's just a a problem i have is you feel like they're giving people awards uh for the wrong reasons yeah yeah and being that only certain people can vote on them you know it just there's a lot of questions there and I, i just can't put stock in it because I feel like they're making up for things all the time, and that shouldn't be the case. Absolutely. I would agree with you on that for sure. Uh, The big thing for me also is the public has no say. Yeah. Uh, Mm -hmm. You know, I put a lot of stock in award shows that allow people to vote, say go online and sign up and vote, because we all should be able to say what's good and what's not. Our love of movies is subjective. Yep. (laughs) I'm going to like something you're not going to like, and you're going to love something that this person's going to like or whatever. Yeah. And, you know, who is this group of 600 and some people to say that this, because we said so, is the best of the best of the best? And I just can't. Yeah. 600 people out of the millions of people that watch movies. Yep. Yeah. I, I can't listen to well, that too much. Well, it makes much. me think about the the silent movie that uh, was up for awards not too long ago. Oh, The Artist. And, and here's the thing. I'm not, I've never watched that movie, so I'm not going to discount it. I'm not going to say it wasn't a great movie. It could be a great movie for all I know. Um, but I just know that the average person doesn't want to see a silent movie. Yeah. They just don't. And so I feel like you're right. They don't always represent uh, a great middle, a midsection of of what, you know, moviegoers are like. Well, see, I feel like I understand that they're giving awards to each other. Yeah. And that's and that's fine. I mean, it's a lot of the the industry leaders and everything giving awards to each other. And that's fine. But they treat it like it's the end all be all. And that I can't get behind, especially since me or you or anybody else didn't get a say. Yeah, absolutely. That being said, though, the Oscars, in a way, are useful. And one thing is they point out movies to the public that they may have not even heard of. Yeah. Uh, especially, like, in the animation department mm-hmm. or for the award, there's always one or two that you're like, wait, what is that one? Yeah. And then you may check it out. Uh, same thing with foreign films or Uh, It just brings attention to movies that you may not have known. And also, uh, it's a fun game to try to pick the winners. It's just fun. (laughs) Now, the best way to play is play the political way. (laughs) Because if you play that way, you you, you can get a little goofier and say, well, this won because of this. you know, And they had to make up for not giving this the award or, or something like that. So there is good uses for it. But... When it comes to what you should watch and what you should love about movies, go with your gut, end all, be all. Listen to yourself even before you listen to me. (laughs) Okay. I think that's some fantastic advice. And I think that if people, uh, you know, uh, watch the Oscars, which it seems to me like over the years, a lot of times the audience has, has been dwindling, or at least that's the... 
that's the buzz I hear is that the audience is dwindling. I don't know if people are actually watching and they just don't say they're watching because they feel like it's a little too, uh, you know, taboo or whatnot. I don't know. I, uh, I think a lot of the controversy plays into that yeah. where, the you know, like I said, we mentioned the the controversy from before. Yep. And then people will watch the next year to see if they've quote unquote remedied it. Right. And, right. And that's unfortunate. I hate seeing it like that for something that just ends up being a sticker on a DVD to sell more DVDs. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, if people want to know more about uh, movies that are out there, reviews that you've done in, in uh, recent months, they can check out your YouTube page. It's always a great resource. I know uh, I'll uh, go on there now and again, if I'm looking for something to watch or I'll just shoot you a text yeah. and say, what do you think? <laughs> about this movie uh, but, <laughs> but anyway uh people can check that out just search for the real gino on youtube it's r-e-e-l-g-e-n-o thanks for coming in thanks for having me